Thank you for tuning in on part 4 of how to build a quiet, high-performance PC video overview. By now you've probably already seen part 1, 2 and 3 of our guide. In this episode, we're just going to take a look at how our finished system looks. In part 3, we mentioned that each system differs, and therefore it is best to refer to your user's manual to understand where your power connectors will go. Now we're going to take a look inside and see how well we were able to hide the cables in our Zaman MS1000H1 chassis. We installed a few other products that were not shown in part 3 of our guide, but since our guide already went through the most difficult parts of putting together the computer system, it should not be difficult to figure out the rest of it yourself. In future videos, we might go into further detail about each of the steps that we have done in this guide. Now since we only hid most of the cables around the back of the system, let's take a look how that turned out. The chassis has several holes next to the motherboard tray. These holes can be used to hide your cables so cool air can pass through your system without obstruction. This is very important if you want a silent and cool PC. Zalman also includes designated holes on the back of the system where you can use cable ties to tighten the cables to the chassis so they would not get in the way of the air circulation. As you can tell there are lots of cables we already hid and if all of these cables would have been tangled with the parts, our system's air circulation would have been decreased tremendously. This is the hole for the CPU cooler's backplate, and the back shows the connectors of the motherboard and the connected Seasonic X-Series 750W modular power supply. We tried to get all the other necessary power cables out of the way of the air circulation and sometimes we even used cable ties to strap several cables together. We installed an additional Noctua NF-P12 120mm fan on the top of the chassis for representational purposes only. You can always find similar fans on our site, AcousticPC.com, that would match the colors of the other fans already installed in the system. Right under the hard drives, we have installed an acoustic pack noise dampening block. You can install these blocks between optical drives to drastically lower the amount of noise your optical drives make while they are reading discs. This way you don't have to deal with the irritating rolling noise whenever you start the computer. We used the Seagate Cheetah NS.2 600GB 10,000 RPM 6 gigabit per second serial attached SCSI hard drives because we needed lots of space and fast transfer speeds. We could have used solid state drives, but we would not have been able to get the amount of space we needed for video editing. However, the Cheetah NS.2 drives run very quietly anyway, and with the extra sound dampening foam block, we cut down the noise just a little bit more, making the system perfect for audio recording as well. Alright, so we have finished building this computer system. I hope you found this video tutorial very helpful as I went through each of the steps on how to put this computer together. Now before we finish this video, I wanted to show you how quiet this computer is. So right now I'm going to turn on this computer and this microphone is going to record the noise coming from inside the system. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright. The system started running. As you can tell, it's not not loud at all. I'm going to come around. And there it is. It's booting. The noise you're hearing right now, or you just heard, are the SCSI hard drives turning on and right now it's being recognized there it went and we have already put Windows at Windows 7 actually on this system so uh, this wouldn't come with the hard drives you would have to put on Windows 7 by yourself and before we finish this I'm going to open up the side of this computer to see how quiet this computer is. Alright. I'm 
I'm going to put the microphone closer to the computer so you can hear it, how it sounds. These are the hard drives. These are the fans on the bottom. The CPU cooler. The video card. And the top fans. Now I'm just going to put on this case, uh, the side panel, and we're going, to, we're going to see how it absorbs the noise from the system. There it is. I hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed showing you how to build this quiet high performance PC. If you have any questions or comments about the products we have used in this video, please feel free to comment on this video or write us an email at sales at acousticpc.com. We're going to have more video reviews coming in the near future regarding the products we sell at Acoustic PC. So if you're not yet subscribed at our YouTube channel, please visit the link provided right here. Thank you for watching once again.